Hi, welcome back to my channel. I am starting a new series on my channel called Showcase Saturdays. And that is where we're going to be talking about just one item and talking about it, applying it, maybe swatching it to some other stuff, but focusing on just one product. I thought it would be fun to do a video once a week where we just talk about one product, whether it be new or old, and apply it and talk about it. So to start things off, we are going to be using a newer product. So this is a brand new product to me. This is the Dior Cruise 2022 Quint. This came out probably about a month ago. I immediately thought these shades, these colors, this color story was for me. But I'm trying to be better with my spending and not buy absolutely every single new piece of makeup that comes out. So I resisted. <laughs> I resisted for a little while, but I finally just couldn't take it anymore. There was a new Quint that came out um, by Dior. That's a story for another video. So I went ahead and ordered it and I thought, well, if I'm gonna order that, I might as well pick up Cruise 22. So I went ahead and picked up this new Quint. So I thought we would play with it today. Um, I will apply it to the eyes. We'll swatch it. So these are the five shades. I think it just looks like a very beautiful, everyday, neutral palette. And that is what I want. That is exactly what I want. That is what I'm wearing these days. And so I went ahead and picked it up. So we're going to apply it. I'm first going to take it out and I will go ahead and swatch it. And show you guys what it looks like. So this has been out for a month. So there are several videos already out there on this. I'm not going to spend a lot of time uh, going over the swatches, but I do want to at least show you how they swatch on me because everybody's skin tone is a little bit different. So if you are a similar skin tone as me, maybe this will help you. So I will do that and then we will apply it to the eyes and create a look or two. If that sounds like something you're interested in, then keep watching. All right, so there are the shades swatched. So I started here, went there, 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 and then then. So that's kind of where we're at. I did pull out several other eyeshadow palettes and eyeshadow quints that I do have that in some way, shape, or form give me these shades. You know, this isn't exactly a unique color palette. Do I have any palette with all of these shades together? No. So that's kind of what makes it different. If there is a particular palette or quint you'd like to see swatched up against, or you just want some general ones, let me know down below and I'm happy to message you directly. I don't want to make this video an hour long video swatching all these other palettes because I do have quite a few. These are very neutral shades. So I do have several other quads that I think would be similar, but again, none that are in this exact color story and together like this, and none of them are gonna be the Dior formula. So all the different eyeshadows are gonna have a different formula and it's kind of just a matter of preference, which formula do you like better? So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. We will create two separate eye looks and see what kind of looks we can create with this new palette. So I'm going to take a fluffy brush. This is the BK Beauty 201. And I'm going to go in to this shade down here. And I'm just going to place it in the corner. Or I'm sorry, I'm going to place it in the crease. I have not had a lot of luck with Dior eyeshadows. I am going to be honest with you. It has I have had a rough ride. Um, I haven't found, I haven't found that Quint that I am just blown away with and that I absolutely love. So I really am hoping that this is the Quint that changes everything. I'm going to take a Sonia G Worker Pro and I'm going to go in with this light ivory tan shade and I'm going to place that on the eye, the lower eye. Every single Dior quint that I have, I thought was gonna be like a nude, 
beautiful neutral palette and they all ended up being way too dark and I just could never get them to work. So that's like when I saw this, I was like, yes, yes, <laughs> these are my shades. But again, I was trying to be good and I was like, you have all of these shades and other palettes. You don't need it. I am going to take a BK Beauty 202 and go into the center shade and just take it in that outer corner. And we're just gonna add a little bit of definition to the eye. I'm gonna go back in with that BK Beauty 201. I'm not gonna add any additional product, but I'm just gonna blend. I am gonna take a little bit more on the Sonia G Worker Pro, that same light shade and go underneath the eye, or underneath the brow bone rather. I'm gonna take a Sonia G Pencil One and go into that center shade and we're gonna take that underneath the eye. And now I'm going to go back into that light shade, same brush, take it on the lower lash line, but on the inner half. I'm just going to add just a little bit more of that center shade. All right, I think that that's done. We're gonna put some eyeliner on and some mascara and see what the finished eye look looks like. All right, so there's the first eye look. Now we're gonna go in and create a second eye look. I'm gonna take a Tom Ford uh, fluffy brush, and this is number 13, and I am gonna go into that light shade, and we're gonna put that in the crease. And pretty much all over the eye, just to kind of give a base. to this brown shade with a Sony G classic crease and I'm going to start in the outer corner and blend my way into the crease. So, so far I'm really enjoying this palette more than the other palettes that I have, but I think that this quint would look really well with the other quints that I have. So I think I have soft cashmere and new look. And I think adding, kind of mixing these shadows in with those would really work. So now I'm gonna take this shade down here in the corner, same brush, and just go into the crease, but start in the inner corner. On the eye, you can't really see much distinction between those two shades, but if you look really closely, you can. But for the most part, you, I don't really notice much of a difference. Now I'm gonna go into this topper shade and I'm gonna use a Sonia G Soft Shader. And we're just gonna put that in the inner corner and then like the first half of the eye. Let's see if we can get that shade down. I'm not a huge fan of the Dior toppers, but we're gonna try. See, I think it looks really white. So I'm just gonna take that classic crease and blend looks better. I'm going to go back into this brown shade and see if I can just deepen up that corner and add just a little bit more dimension. All right, so that eye is done. We're going to line it and put some mascara on and then we'll be back to talk about this quint. 
All right, so both eyes are finished. And I can honestly tell you that this is my favorite Dior Quint that I have tried. Now I'm gonna be honest, I have only tried two others. <laughs> so this is the third one that I have tried. Um, the first two I have tried and tried and tried and tried to love, and I just can't. However, I think I have found a winner. So I am really, really loving this quint. And what I love about it is the versatility of this quint. So on my right eye, I was able to create a very neutral, warm eye look. I think it is beautiful. It's an everyday look that I can wear with anything. And then on my left eye, I was able to create a very neutral, cool toned look. So I love that you have both warm and cool tones in one palette and you can kind of mix them to create beautiful eye looks. And I think, I mean, I could just keep going and mixing the different shades and seeing what kind of works well together or even putting all five on the one eye at the same time. I did try and kind of split them up so that I could create two different eye looks, but I think you could easily wear all five shades in one eye look. Um, I really am impressed. I don't know the longevity of this uh, quint. I have, this is my first impression. This is the first time I'm trying it. But so far, I can tell you that I am really loving it. And I'm excited to, as I mentioned, mix in this quint with some of the other quints that I have and see if I can get those quints to look and see if I can get those quints to work for a look that I would wear every day. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I um, am really excited for this new series. Again, it's gonna be Showcase Saturdays. So every Saturday I will be showcasing or talking about one particular product. And again, it's gonna be kind of a mix between new stuff, which is what today's was, and older products. Um, it won't always be eyeshadow, sometimes it'll be blush. Maybe it'll be mascara, eyeliner, whatever. I will pick one product to showcase and talk about. Um, I would love to hear from you guys if you guys have picked up this quint. If you haven't picked it up and you're on the fence and you're kind of wondering, do I need it? Do I, do I already have something in my collection? Um, message me on Instagram or message me down below and I can try and see if I have any of uh, similar quints that you may already have that maybe I can swatch for you. Just let me know. Again, I did not want this video to be an hour long where I'm swatching 30 other palettes that may have one or two of these shades in it that could work. So I wanted to kind of keep this video on the shorter side. I just want to thank you guys again for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope everyone has a wonderful day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.